was made roughly an hour and a half ago. Some five to ten minutes later, the operation began. The uh, six-man team of neurosurgeons probing for the bullet that had lodged in Senator Kennedy's brain. Uh, no report yet uh, as to how that... Poor Mrs. Kennedy. This tragedy. A tragedy. But it has nothing to do with us. It has everything to do with us. No. No, I just do not think we should be making speeches about politics and religion. Dr. King was shot eight miles from Graceland while I was out here singing to turtles. And all this, and all you can think about is how many goddamn sweaters I can sell. I am a promoter. That is what I do. And I'm Elvis Presley. That's what I do. Well, Mr. Bindle has really gotten inside your head with all of his hippie friends. You actually think that you singing your old songs dressed in black leather, sweating, mumbling incoherently to the audience was a good show? Colonel, I know when I've excited an audience. That was not a real audience, my boy. There was a sign flashing applaud, telling them when to clap for you. Now, this entire jamboree is an embarrassment. You have embarrassed the sponsors, you have embarrassed yourself, you have embarrassed me. Now, you can sing whatever songs you and Mr. Bindle choose for 55 minutes, but at the end of the show, there will be a Christmas song. Or else we will be sued. No, you will be sued for breach of contract, because I will no longer be the promoter of your career. I will have to leave you. Mm. I have convinced our friends at Singer Sewing Machines to come back tomorrow, for here comes Santa Claus. I will see you in the morning, Mr. President. Oh, and as I recall, Dr. King said rock and roll music contributed to juvenile delinquency. It would be wrong, it would be self-deceptive to ignore the connection between that lawlessness and hatred and this act of violence. It would be just as wrong and just as self-deceptive to conclude from this act that our country itself is sick, that it's lost its balance, that it's lost its sense of direction, even its common decency. 200 million Americans did not strike down Robert Kennedy last night any more than they struck down President John F. Kennedy in 1963 or Dr. Martin Luther King in April of this year. My fellow citizens, we cannot, we just must not tolerate the sway of violent men among us. We must not permit men that are filled with hatred 